This video will present directions for how to update personnel roles and contact information in the MyMTSS data system. Any MyMTSS data system user with login rights can update their own record. At the top right corner of your browser window, click Account and edit your account from the drop-down menu. Additionally, MyMTSS data system users who also have the MyMTSS administrator role assigned can edit other personnel records within their organization. The MyMTSS role is for at least one person in each ISD, district, or school. This role allows the user to add new users, provide login access, and edit the email addresses and roles of other personnel within their own organization. For example, when both the district user and the MyMTSS administrator role is checked, the individual has the ability to add and edit other users within their district. When editing contact information, be mindful of the required fields marked with a red asterisk. If changing an email address and the person has a MyMTSS user role assigned, the email address and the login name must match. Additional roles are organized into groups. The MyMTSS user role section is what gives people the ability to log in to the data system, enter data, and access reports and dashboards. An ISD user can access all data for the ISD and districts within the ISD with a signed use agreement, including ISD, district, and school dashboards. A district user can access all data for the district and schools within the district, including district and school dashboards. A school user can access data for a single school, including the school dashboard. If you're updating your own record, review the remaining roles and check all that apply. If you're updating a personal record for someone else, check any additional professional roles you're aware of and prompt that person to review the list of roles themselves and update once they are able to log in. Save when you are done. Next, move to the Affiliated Facilities tab and make sure the correct organization is listed. The Affiliated Facilities tab shows a user's primary facility and other facilities they may have rights to or have been associated with. It also reflects start and end dates for facilities they are or were associated with. If no facilities are present, click Add Facility and begin typing the facility name and select from the drop-down list when populated. ISD facilities have a red I icon, districts have a blue D icon, and schools have a green S icon. Enter the start date. Check the primary box for the facility when adding multiple facilities. This should be based on the organization where the person is employed. A person can have a primary facility listed and also have rights to another facility. For example, an ISD-based coach may have the ISD listed as their primary facility, but have access to a specific school within the ISD. The user role assigned in this instance would be school user. If you wanted that person to have access to all data across the ISD, they should be given the ISD user role and it's not necessary to assign individual districts or schools to the person beyond the ISD as the primary facility. Click Save. Any data system user can see who has access to their organization's data. On the Contacts tab of each dashboard, 
Users can access a report that will name everyone who can access their account. This list will always include all of the statewide users from the TA Center and MDE who can view data. It will also include any ISD or district-wide users who can see district and school data. This report should be monitored regularly so any necessary updates can be made. When you have personnel leave your organization, take these steps to remove access to the data system. First, remove the assigned user role. Next, remove their email address. Click Save. Go to the Affiliated Facilities tab. Edit the organization by putting an end date. Click Save. 